Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. I've had some requests for making videos on accessories and so I've made these Bella inspired gauntlets or armbands. I love Bella costumes and these gauntlets were inspired by this costume by Bella. It's a great little accessory to personalize and make it suit your costumes. And in this video, I will show you how to make these wristbands. So let's get started. To make these wristbands, you need fabric. I'm using this scrap fabric that's left over from making previous costume. This free pattern from my blog. You can get this free pattern from this page. Four pairs of hook and eye closures and strong thread. I'm using this craft and button thread. Bees and your sewing tools. First, cut the pattern from my blog and hold it against your wrist. If the band part is too short, add length to it and if it's too long, cut it to adjust it. Remember to leave the 5mm or quarter inch seam allowance on both ends of the band. Fold your fabric in half, right sides together, and place the pattern on it. If your fabric has stretch, place the long side of the pattern along the direction of the stretch. And trace it twice. And cut. Then sew all the way around with 5 millimeters or a quarter of an inch seam allowance and make sure to leave a few centimeters opening so you can turn this inside out. Once you sew them together, cut the excess fabric on the corners and turn it inside out. Then you can close up the opening by using the hidden stitch like I'm doing here or just top stitch all the way around. And of course, repeat this step for the other set. Then pick the side that will be facing your wrist and sew on two pairs of hook and eyes like this. Key is to make sure both the hooks and eyes are sewn almost against the edge, allowing them to function, but when it's closed, the closure is invisible. This is how hook and eye closures are attached at the top of zippers on skirts and dresses. Now take your strong thread and a beading needle and double your thread. Make sure the thread is long enough to go from the top of the wristband around your middle finger and back. I'm using Beadalon Big Eye Beading Needle and this has a hole that opens up wide so it's easy to thread it, especially when I use thick thread like this. I will include more information on where to get it in the description box. Start stitching from the tip of this pointed end and start putting beads through it. And as you do it, try on the wristband and see if the string of beads is long enough to go around your middle finger, then back to where it started. And also give some room for your hand movements. And once you're happy with the length, make sure to make a tight knot and the wristband is done. I think these wristbands are so cute as they are, or you can decorate them to match your costume. I hope you like these wristbands and next week you will see how to make armbands to go with the wristbands, how to connect them, and I will share some decoration and time saving tips. So don't forget to sign up for my newsletter and get the free wristband pattern from my blog at the link on the screen. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!